G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. Just a quick little challenge, getting you to play around with addition of fractions. So this is the challenge. I'm going to give you seven fractions right now. They are as follows. We're gonna use 1 12th, we're going to use 1 6th, we're gonna use 1 quarter, 1 third, 1 half, as well as 2 thirds and 3 quarters, okay? So we have seven fractions there. Now this is your challenge here is you have to arrange these fractions in these circles here. We have seven circles, seven fractions. You have to arrange the fractions in the circles here so that the sum of each row is the same. So this row adds up to the same as this row, adds up to the same as this row. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'd pause it up if I was you guys. I'll give you a bit of a hint in a second about how you might do this if you're getting stuck, and then I'll show you the answer. Okay, this is my hint here. What I'd recommend is with this, I would go through and I would change these fractions so they all had the same denominator. Now the common denominator that you can see that well, these numbers will all easily go into is 12. So if we were to change these into equivalent fractions, this would become 1 12th, this would become 2 over 12, this would become 3 over 12, this would become 4 over 12, this would become 6 over 12, this would become 8 over 12, and this would become 9 over 12. Okay, so now we're looking to be able to add these guys so the rows add up to the same. Yeah, good luck on that now. Now hopefully you got the right answer now. I'm going to go through and work out the answer now. So what we have here is pretty typically when you have a question like this, it's very, very typical that you'll be using the biggest and the smallest number in the one row. And that kind of makes sense. So let's go first off and do that. So we're going to be having... Uh, 9 over 12 and 1 over 12. And you can see that if you add these together, you will get the answer of 10 over 12. For another row, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the second biggest and the second smallest. Okay, so 8 over 12 and 2 over 12. 8 over 12 plus 2 over 12 also add up to 10 over 12. So it's pretty good so far, right? What about the next one along? Now you're going to see that if we just take the third biggest and the third smallest, these guys are going to add up to 9 out of 12. So we're going to adjust our method here and we're going to add up the ones that are going to add up to 10 over 12, which is these two here. Uh, this one and this one add up to 10 over 12. So we're going to be using 6 over 12 and 4 over 12. Okay, and these both also add up to 10 over 12. So this First off tells us what the middle one is going to be, the one left over. So the common one is going to be 3 over 12. That's going to go in the middle. That is 1 quarter. All right, so on either end, what do we have? We have 9 over 12 and 1 over 12. You can see here that 1 over 12 is the 1 12th. And the one that is equivalent to 9 over 12 is 3 quarters. For another row, what we have is the one which is equivalent to 2 over 12, which is 1 sixth, and the one which is equivalent to 8 over 12, which is 2 thirds. For our last row, we have the one that is equivalent to 4 over 12, which is 1 third, and the one which is equivalent to 6 over 12, which is 1 half. So how did you go with that? Yours might not look exactly like this. Maybe you have the half here and the third there, but you're gonna notice that the rows you have should all be the same as mine here, okay? So uh, you should have one half, one quarter, and three quarters in the same row, but maybe you have it coming from the top to the bottom there or whatever. Anyway, how'd you go with that? It's a good little exercise, right? Uh, good little challenge. We'll see you next time. 